Wait. Wait just a second. The Ather? First the Lear. Then the Underworld. And now the Ather? Jeez. This mod is insane. The Lear was fine. And when the Underworld was added, I knew this mod was pretty cool. But now the Ather? Wow. That takes it to a whole new level. What's up guys, I'm GoStorm, and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the re new release of my mod, and the name of it is the Survival Update. This update focuses on adding new components to the storyline, while making this mod more playable in Survival. Most of the items have been experimental to this point, and the mod hasn't really been playable in Survival until this point. But now that we're able to play in survival, and most of the mod features have lost their bugs, we're happy to announce that our mod is out of beta! This is a very awesome moment for us, to be in a full release and stable state. In this video, we're going to showcase some of the new features in the update, and we're also going to talk about some of the features that we missed in our last video. If you don't know what my mod is, then check out my first video, link in the description, and it should be in the cards as well. First, we added new recipes for the beginning book. You know, the book that gives you a history on the beginning of the in-game Minecraft universe. We also added a recipe for the Lear Portal layout book, and the lighters that go to the Lear and Underworld. By smelting a normal book, you can get the beginning book but you may want to go do something else while it smelts, because it'll take a couple of minutes. <laughs> to get the Lear Portal Frame layout book, all you do is just smelt the beginning book, but it'll also take a little while. Speaking of the beginning book, let's talk about Graves and Dr. Ivan's research centers. So it's back to the books. If you read the book, if you read the beginning book closely, you'll see that Notch and Herobrine had a dispute, and that led to a war. And that's what this book is about. Now, wars are well known for how many people die, and it's really sad that so many people die in wars. But, graves add a fun story aspect to our mod and the game. These graves are graves for some of the people that supposedly died in the war inside the Minecraft in-game universe. Here's just a little storyline bit um, about the war. During the war, Herobrine often used spawners, you know, monster spawners, you can find them underground, to spawn new troops to fight Notch, except he used these above ground. And this is how spawners came to be. Soon after the war, some of the spawners started sinking underground, along with their little enclosure. And that's how we find the normal spawners today. After the war, though, Dr. Ivan, we'll learn about him in a future update, encased these spawners and made a research lab around each spawner so that he could observe the spawner's behavior. Because at the time, there weren't underground spawners, and he didn't really know much about them. And being a doctor and a scientist, he wanted to learn more about them. He made a research lab around them so that he could observe the spawner's behavior while keeping a safe distance. Anyway, more on Dr. Ivan in a future update. Perhaps the biggest thing we added in the update is the Ather. The place is always swarming with mobs, but it's loaded with loot. The Ather is still in beta and has a lot of bugs. The Ather but the Ather will add a storyline mechanic in a future update. One thing we added is recipes for the lighters that go to the Lear, the Underworld, and the Ather. To craft the Lear portal lighter, you just put four blocks of bluestone around a flint and, around a flint and steel on the crafting table. To craft a, the gateway to the Underworld lighter, you just put two iron blocks horizontally around a flint and steel. To make the Ather portal lighter, you just put a diamond block on the left side of the flint and steel. In this update, we made the underworld a bit easier to go to. Instead of using the diamond blocks like we used before, 
you can now use iron blocks for the frame. To get to the adder, you use the familiar diamond block frame that we use to use for the underworld portal frame. You may be thinking, this is kind of a small update, but in reality, it's just a way for us to make larger new updates. Stuff like Dr. Ivan's lab and the Adder will make incredibly large story arcs in the future. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I want y'all to know that my this channel will not be dedicated only to videos about my mod. I, I am planning to do many, many different things in the future. It's going to be very cool to come and do some of these new things with y'all. Um, I have a couple things lined up, but these two videos about my mod are uh, just kind of like starter videos while I get things figured out a bit. Real quick, I want to say thank you for bearing with me uh, with these just uh, video experiments, I guess. Um, one thing I plan to be making is a, a Blender tutorial on how to make my intro. Uh, this is pretty simple and, and all that. Blender is a 3D software and it's the one that I use to make this opening animation. Yes, the one with the pickaxe hitting the anvil. I have to get that pick out of the way. Anyway, um, so Blender is extremely easy to use once you've learned it a bit. And it's really fun, too, so you, um, you'll learn how, just, like, the simple, the basics of the basics on Blender, and, you know, Minecraft animation, all at the same time. That, and, you know, I want to know what y'all think. What do y'all think I should do? So I'm making a survey, and it's just a three-choice, uh, multiple-choice option, um, for what y'all want me to do next. Uh, and I'll be talking about each one uh, a little bit in this video. Now, the first one. Population Craft. So if you never heard of that, that's okay. Population Craft is a server or a series hosted by me. Um, and we have a lot of people on. It's unique in another way as well. It has money. Yes, gold ingots are our money. And it's real fun because <laughs> everybody has their business. Everybody is trying to be the best business. And it's just real fun. Um, anyway, if you want to see Population Craft, um, just learn a bit more about it. My good friend, The Savage Normal, who I plan to do some videos with in the future, um, has been recording and sharing all of his, uh, all a bunch of Population Craft videos. Um, and, you know, if y'all want, and, uh, I'll probably start around season two. So, real quick, I just want to say, one season's nine months, then we reset the world. Um, if y'all do vote that in, I wouldn't start, like, just in the middle. Just because y'all wouldn't know what's happening. Uh, but I would start at the beginning of season two. Uh, and, you know. Anyway. If y'all want to learn about Population Craft, I am in uh, some of Jake's Population Craft videos, and you're welcome to go watch that. Link in the description below and in the cards right now. The second option is something I call Among Us Stories, and Among Us Stories is just kind of like a mini series by me, and what it is, it's, it's like Among Us matches. Uh, comedic Among Us matches narrated in the third person by the imaginary person that is playing it. And it's real comedic, uh, it's real interesting, and anyway, uh, there's that. And the third option, um, is a Hunter subscriber special on how to make a Pokeball in Blender. Yes, so this wouldn't be done until we reach 100 subscribers, but it's how to make a Pokeball in Blender, and in the um, and at the same time, we're gonna make a really powerful lighting setup on Pokeball. Uh, now, this won't be a beginner tutorial series. It'll just be, I mean, it will be for beginners, but we're not gonna teach you everything about Blender. If you want that, then you'll have to stay tuned for my Minecraft animation uh, tutorial where we make the uh, my starting animation. Anyway, so those are the three options. 
Uh, the link to the forum is in the description below. Uh, also, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.